Hi, I'm Alex Dunn, and I created Project SwapKeys. SwapKeys is an accessible and distributed keyboarding controller that uses both voice and expression to allow anybody to use any device that they have at their disposal to control software in ways that works for them. It's powered by Azure and Cognitive Services, as well as a slew of other Windows services like C Sharp, Xamarin, UWP, and more. SwapKeys was built to work right alongside existing and traditional forms of input, such as your keyboard and mouse, your Xbox controller, or even just directly on your phone. But it allows you to use any different device that you have at your disposal to control any other one. That means you can use an Alexa speaker, a Google smart screen, your own phone, and even your own webcam to control the computer or a different mobile device that you have on hand. The entire tech stack of SwapKeys is built on top of .NET and Azure. The back end is a C-Sharp and .NET API on ASP.NET Core and uses SignalR to send WebSocket connections between devices. The API is hosted in an Azure app service and uses PostgreSQL on Azure behind the scenes to handle user record information as well as profile preferences. We then use cognitive services such as Lewis and Face API to handle the natural language understanding as well as recognition of expression and head position to help you control your software. Here's the flow of data and what the setup looks like. Everything on the left side is essentially your input device, all your different voice channels, as well as your mobile apps and desktop apps. The voice channels send HTTP requests to Voiceify, which has a webhook registered to send to the SwabKeys API in Azure. When those requests come through, it's sending over WebSockets to your authenticated devices for output, such as your desktop app or like a Windows machine. When you receive that request on a Windows machine, we actually send the underlying profile information and what key you're mapping to, to an Arduino device that then sends true USB keyboard input back, which means that we can control any software, not just ones that support virtual key input. To add on top of this with more cognitive services, we added support for voice and video input on mobile and desktop devices to also help control. Let's take a look at the setup, how it works, and show a quick demo. Using Project Swap Keys is as easy as signing into your different input devices, your different output devices, and then choosing what profile to use and start sending commands over. So all I have to do to get started on this device is sign in, which I've already done, then choose which hardware device I'm gonna be using. In this case, I've got my Arduino Leonardo. Connect to it, connect to the online services, and then choose to either use the microphone or the camera. For this example, I'll just pull up a notepad to be able to type things in. But before I actually do that, I'm going to jump over to Profiles and choose which profile I've created that I want to use. For example, if I'm going to be using PowerPoint, I can select PowerPoint, go to Manage Commands, and then map the different things I want to say to the different keys. So for example, if I want to hit the D key and whenever I say D or whenever I say Next Slide, I can enter those and click Save Commands. Now that I have this selected, I can choose to use either the microphone or the camera but I can do this on any given device. For example, if I've signed into the Alexa skill or Google Action by using account linking, I can use that as a microphone as well. For now, I'll go to microphone and say start listening. D, next slide. So you see, because I said both D and next slide and that mapped to my D on the keyboard, I was able to type that here. Now let's switch over to the camera. The camera allows me to detect head position to control any different key as well as to allow me to perform an action whenever I smile. So what I'm gonna do is go to profiles, go to PowerPoint, and I'm going to manage commands. What I'm going to do is whenever I want to hit A, I can say that I smile. So let's try that out now by selecting the profile again, going to camera, smiling, and then going back to the notepad. And you can see that it typed an A because I smiled at the camera. Now let's check out some more use of swap keys in action with Alexa, Android, Windows, Snapchat, Twitch chat, and more. Attack. Oh, attack, attack. All right, we're playing one-handed. So I'm gonna keep my other hand here so I can just be like real quick. Just to see if it's working, I'm gonna use my eyebrows. We'll jump. Alexa, tell Suave Keys to press block. I'm extremely excited for the power that Suave Keys brings to enable people to use more devices to control more software more easily and level the playing field in both the gaming and educational spaces. Thank you for checking out and supporting the project. Hope to see you either on Twitter or on Twitch as we continue to work on this and bring it to production to help reach more people and on more devices and hopefully see a better future for human-computer interaction that's accessible to everybody.